If you're deep into Cardano and Cardano NFTs, this is the most important video you're going to see this year. Because the most important thing in cryptocurrency is security. And I'm gonna be telling you about a device that's going to help you maximize your security. So what are we talking about today? We are talking about a hardware wallet. Now, what does this mean? So first, let's just talk about traditional finance versus cryptocurrency. In traditional finance, you trust a bank and you put your funds in that bank and when you're ready, you can withdraw those funds. But what actually happens is when you put your money in a bank, you don't actually have custody of those funds. Once you put it in the bank, they can lend that out to somebody else, they can move it around, they can do whatever, and hopefully when you're ready to withdraw the money from the bank, all of it is there. But cryptocurrency is different because in essence, we are trying to become decentralized. So what that means is we don't want to trust somebody else with our currency. We want to have the responsibility and ownership of it on our side. So that's where the hardware wallet comes in. So the device we're going to be talking about today is a ledger. And a ledger is a hardware wallet that stores all of your crypto in one location on a physical device. Why is this important? Because according to CNBC, over $10 billion of cryptocurrency was lost last year due to crypto scams. Now, some of these scams were because people were not smart with their own cryptocurrency and they sent the funds to an account or to a person that they thought they could trust and they ended up losing it. But another portion of that $10 billion was lost just by getting hacked in your account. So somebody was able to find your passphrase or your spending password and they just sucked all of the funds and cryptocurrency out of your account and it's lost forever. You can't get it back. So what are some things we can do to stop that kind of scam from happening? And the answer to that is a ledger. So let's talk about different types of wallets. We have hot wallets, which are examples like Euroi or Nami or CC Vault. And you set up a wallet online and you create an account and what it does is it then creates a 24 word passphrase for you and you write it down on a piece of paper and you store that somewhere safe and then you make a spending password and all of your funds are online. So even, even in the initial setup, you're already exposed to somebody else being able to see that information online because the passphrase was created online, your spending password was created online and that can be risky and someone could potentially get into your account. So what's the difference with a hardware wallet? Well, when you get your ledger device, the 24 word passphrase is created and made only on the physical device. It is not shown anywhere online or on the internet. So you can write your passphrase down on a piece of paper from your ledger device, and then you confirm that passphrase on the ledger device. And then the only way somebody can sign a transaction is if they have your physical ledger. And so this creates a much higher level of security because Somebody can't just hack your passphrase and then be able to withdraw from funds out of your account. The one thing I do have to mention in this video at the time of this recording is that Ledger does not support Cardano smart contracts yet, but they are planning to do that in 2022. So if you get a Ledger, how do you connect to one of the Cardano wallets? Well, one way you can do it is you can go to NAMI, for example, and on the drop down menu, you can connect a hardware wallet, and then you will sign a transaction from your Ledger device and you can connect the ledger to NAMI. And if you're on Daedalus, you can go on the bottom left-hand side, you can hit add wallet, and then you can connect a hardware device from there as well. And there are other examples from the other wallets that are being created on Cardano. It's a similar process until we get Ledger Live. So Ledger Live is their software that you can use on a computer or mobile, and you can track Bitcoin and Ethereum and have those inside of one device, your ledger. So once Cardano is accepted on Ledger Live, you'll be able to add your funds directly to the wallet instead of having to go through NAMI or Daedalus. So there are currently two different ledgers that you can purchase and the link for that comparison will be in the description, but the Ledger Nano S runs for about $60. So it's very good for beginners and you can install up to three apps at the same time. So for example, when Cardano is supported, you could do Cardano, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. And the Ledger Nano X, on the other hand, runs about 149 US dollars, but you can install up to 100 apps at the same time. And it's also mobile friendly with Bluetooth connections. So when Cardano gets Ledger Live, you'll be able to have your mobile device connected to your Ledger through Bluetooth, and you can sign transactions through that, which will be really cool going forward. So do I think people should get a Ledger? Of course, yes. 
Now, remember that the responsibility is 100% on you for the custody of your funds. If you lose your passphrase, if the device gets destroyed, it's really difficult to get those coins back. So do I think you should get a ledger? Yes, but you need to be careful and, and realize that you are responsible for whatever happens to your 24 word passphrase and the physical ledger device. But I do think that it's important for everybody to own their own crypto, to get it off of exchanges and to have ownership of it. So if you are interested in learning more about Ledger or picking one of these up for yourself, I have an affiliate link down in the description of this video. I get a little bit of commission if you do end up picking up one from the link that I send at the bottom. So it is an affiliate link just to let you know. But once again, I do recommend it for everybody who is in crypto. The scams are getting crazy out there. And I just want you guys to have ownership of your funds in a safe and secure place where only you can sign the transactions on a physical device. So if you have any other questions about Ledger, feel free to leave a comment at the bottom of this video, as well as joining my Discord and asking me directly or in a, in a chat on Discord. I'd love to talk with you guys. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.